Yo, what's good, y'all? What's good? Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be reacting to Billie Eilish. What was I made for? This is the official music video, but after this, literally right after, in this same video, do not leave, all right? Because I will be checking out the behind the scenes footage of the music video, which was requested by you guys, actually. Uh, I just went ahead and added in, you know, the fact that I'm gonna react to the music video as well, even though it would get blocked. Okay, I'm gonna have to chop it down on here for y'all on YouTube. But if you wanna see the full reaction, hit the link in the description to my Patreon so you can watch it. Alright? I'ma like this video. Please make sure y'all like this video up if y'all love y'all some Billy Eilish. You get it. I've reacted to her a few times on the channel. Check it out. Alright. Let's get into it. I'm excited to hear her new music, you know? She looks great. Like, let's go ahead and talk about the look. That's what I always have to do. I get on a music video, I see the person already. Boom. It's giving, like, an old school. It's giving, um, what was her name? What was, her, what was, um, JFK's wife's name? <laughs> I don't know, Jackie? <laughs> Might have been that, you know. But, um, I don't know. It's giving, like, those around that time type of vibe with the hairstyle and the like buttoned up little like blouse whatever you want to call it with the with the earrings and the very very natural makeup really looks stunning you know what i'm saying i love when girls just wear like like a, a gloss you know what i'm saying nothing too crazy you don't need to be no colors like i just love a very natural look so i like the yellow it, it's really giving giving some type of like I don't know, innocence. I used to float, now I just fall down. I used to know, but I'm not sure now. Okay, I see where we're going with this. It's, that's very deep already. You know, I love the lyrics so far. So, I, I love lyricists, okay? I love a good song with some good lyrics that mean something. You can tell that an artist put their soul into, you know what I'm saying, one of their tracks, one of their babies, I think that just shows a lot about them and, like, their artistry. I think it's very, like, I don't know, I just think it's really cool, honestly. Very vulnerable and very, like, courageous of them, honestly. They're speaking their truth and about what they're, what's going on in their lives and when they speak like this, you know, but then there's some times where you might not be able to take it that way. It could be about, like, anybody. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this sounds personal to her. So far, that's how I feel. It sounds personal. What was I made for? It's like she's not sure if she's, you know, doing the right thing. I was an ideal, not so alive. Turns out I'm not real, just something. Wow. Okay, so I'm wondering, like, just from what I'm listening to so far, it almost seems like Billy's going through, like, like a hard time right now. Like, or maybe she was going through a hard time um, recently before she made the song, when she was making the song, actually. That's what really matters. Because <laughs> when an artist makes a song is usually, like, when they're feeling it. Uh, doesn't mean they're going to put it out at the time. But, yeah, it seems like she was going through, like, a rough, rough time, you know. Um, she didn't feel alive. She's saying like she did. She used to look alive. She used to know what she wanted. Uh, she used to, you know, think that she was right, like on the right track. But it seems like she doesn't really know. She's like, well, all along, I was, I was fake. I guess I wasn't even being real with myself. But just something you paid for. What was that mean? Stylish outfits. perfect time to talk about like her vocals right now you know obviously billy has a like a softer lighter tone i always enjoy her falsettos you know her airy falsettos and sometimes like a little light whisper of singing you know i mean i, I really enjoy it i think it really helps you to pay attention to the lyrics and what's going on and even this video right now is very simple right but it's, it's, it means something, I feel like. It's not just, she's not picking up these little tiny miniature outfits and hanging them on a mini 
like hanger for no reason, like at a desk. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, she's going through all these different things, putting them up. I'm trying to figure out like exactly what that means. Let's see. Oh, okay, something, something's changing. All right, something hit. It's an earthquake. Oh, everything just wiped away. Oh, see, okay, so look, where, where did it end? All the enjoyment. Like, when did this stop being fun? And as that's being said, it's like everything's kind of being wiped away. Um, things are getting destroyed, messed up. You know what I'm saying? Unorganized, you know, all over the place. Don't tell my boyfriend. It's not what he's You don't want to put the, you know, the burden on somebody else. You don't want to feel like you're doing that. So you just keep it in. You don't tell anybody. So this is awesome. Like, I love this. I love this so much. Like, the visual with the lyrics and everything. Like, I'm realizing. Like, she's trying to pick up the pieces, right? But, like, she's trying. But things, it's just not working. It gets worse. When the rain comes, it pours. It gets worse. She doesn't know what to do. She's trying to figure out what to do. She doesn't know how to fish. And she's actually trying to pick up the pieces and stuff. I just love how it literally... And I like how she's saying someday I might, like, you know what I'm saying, know how to feel and, and all this stuff. Like, it kind of signifies, like, the moment where you feel like it's never going to get better. It's just... It's just going to be... Hit after hit after hit after hit, and it's not gonna. It's not gonna get better. That's that's how you feel in those type of moments, you know. And that's I like how she's saying, well, maybe someday, like in the future, I, I might, you know, know how to feel, and I know how to, you know, deal with all this. I know, you know, like her literally right here with the different elements and you know what's going on. It means a lot, you know. It's it's not much going on for real, but it means a lot. You get it. Same for the lyrics. The lyrics literally are matching. I feel like that's that's making it kind of easy for the viewer to really pick up the pieces and be like, oh, okay, I get it. Because it's pretty relatable, too, you know. Just in a different scenario we've had, maybe, compared to hers. Struggles like in the industry, struggles in her maybe within her life and relationships with anybody. Yeah. Okay, she didn't want to forget anything. She took everything with her, but and it's just black for the rest of the time. Wow. Wow. Okay, well, y'all, okay, <laughs> Billie Eilish, what was I made for the official music video? Wow, okay, so I'm hoping I get a little bit of answers in this behind-the-scenes video, and yeah, we're gonna get into it. I think I express all my thoughts. I love the message. I love the, um, the, the visuals. I love the outfits. I love the, the symbolism. Is that a word? Symbolism? Yeah, I'm gonna go with it. I really wanted it to feel like how the old Barbies looked. I didn't grow up on the old Barbies, obviously, but ah, they're just they're just the coolest thing in the world. Vintage Barbie is like some of the coolest stuff ever. It was just, this was on the Barbie. This was on the Barbie. I haven't seen that movie. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I wasn't planning. Yeah, it was really fun to like make the mood board for it. Like it's I just picture Barbie. desk, chair, sage green, blonde ponytail, yellow outfit. And the dress is perfect. My mom's mom, who I never met, my grandma, she used to make clothes for my mom. And they were very cute. And a couple of them she still had when I was a kid. And I would wear them. And they were like just the sweetest little, you know, cute little square with buttons on dresses. And I was picturing those. Oh, it should shave first. Like there's a little earthquake. And then it should be windy. And then it should be rain. Oh, 
God, what's up, man? Hey, Billy can act, okay? Y'all saw her in Swarm? Uh-uh. Slow down by Skip Marley and her. Girl. Now play. Part of what's hard about directing is, especially when you're someone like me that, like, I don't know much about cameras. I just have these ideas, and I think that I know how to execute them. More. Get just so I'm, like, struggling more and, like, have more to do, you know? Yeah. So, and the, then, the initial verse is great, though. Cool. But then right after that, just having just more... Yeah. Yeah, we'll around. Thanks, guys. And I knew I wanted it to be one shot. And I, that was an issue to begin with. Especially when you're like, I want there to be wind, and then I want it to rain all over me, and I want to be wearing a really intricate wig. That makes sense. Hey, you you definitely want a one shot for this. And then talk to Pat. He really one detailed thing. what I was telling him. I was, I was like, okay, I want it to feel really gritty. We were talking 16 millimeter. I don't know if that's going to be even grainy enough. I think it will be. If it's a one take or similar to a one take, I'll do my own version in the yard. And if it's stupid, and I made a, a little mock up of how I wore it. Up. All the camera movements are specific to the lyrics. Um, and then a big note was like, I didn't want the camera to be moving around or following me if I go off screen or whatever because the camera is just filming and I happen to be there. So like if something blows off the table and I run off off screen to get it, that the camera doesn't even notice. I don't know. I feel her. It's pretty dope. Like how she, how she wanted it. Though. I don't know, just thought of like the ones that I feel have been the most seen, that the fans were drawn to the most. Um, or like the ones from like big moments in my life. So like the belly ache one, the Grammys outfit. Ah, the so that's what black, these little fits are. Brown, the lovely outfit. This that one looks good. The black one with the chains. I remember that. that yellow outfit. Like Dapper Dan looks from SNL. One of the first shirts that I ever sold, which is really cute. All the little shoes. There's the little choker that I wore in the fair video. It was hard though because there's so many that we could have put in, but we could only do like a certain amount. That's dope for like the fans, for you guys, you know. Y'all would know. Like, you know, the there's outfits, all these I mean, past versions of myself that are me and they're also not me because they're different versions of me, but they'll always be me. Mm. And I like it's just a, I mean, thinking about your life and the present and the past is, and the future is a scary and gut wrenching thing to do. Something I'm made for. <laughs> Yay! I mean, we have it! And she looks great. Man. She looks great. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that was Billie Eilish. What was that made for? Both the official music video as well as the behind the scenes. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you like the video up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you know when I upload. Stay tuned and stay lit. Yeah.